In this video I'll demonstrate how to use Viana to automatically track an object. That's particularly handy when analyzing high speed videos with a high frame rate. When played back at normal frame rate, these videos appear to be slow motion. Let's start a new project and call it Slow Mo. When played back in Viana, the video seems to be a normal speed video, but at the bottom you can see the frame rate is actually 120. Again, I'll crop the start and end of the video to select the region of interest. Click on the menu Bewegungserkennung and move the crosshair such that a recognizable part of your object is in view. When filming, you might want to use a sticker with a color that contrasts the background. Now when you tap the screen, Viana tries to follow your object throughout the video. As you can see, Viana does a really nice job here. Only at the end, the tracking gets messed up. You can correct the measurements if you like, but for now, I'm happy with these results. As before, we need to set the scale and position of the coordinate system. I'll speed th this up a bit. The graphs look really neat now, because there are so many data points. The first graph is the X-Y diagram, showing the path of the tennis ball. Then you get the horizontal motion in the X direction. And finally, the graphs for the vertical position and the velocity in the vertical direction. You can see there are some glitches here and there, and at the end the tracking didn't work out as it should. If you go back to the video, you can see what has caused the first glitch. My iPad has dropped a frame here and there. Because of this, the tennis ball appears to cover more distance in the same amount of time, so it's as if it's going faster than it's actually going. Finally, as before, you can export this data for further analysis.